Okay, here's the figure and they've given to us AB parallel to CF. So let's mark it. Here is AB parallel to CF. And let's use the properties. Here we can use the alternate angle properties. So we'll make a Z here. So we'll just mark it in dark, a little thicker. This we have parallel. These lines are parallel. Yeah. So our Z when we do, we'll do this, right? This. So you'll have this angle, 40. This also will be 40 alternate angles at the first step. So we start with uh, we start with AB parallel to CF, and we take the transversal BC, and we'll have angle 40 equal to angle BCF. So 40 equal to BCF. So we wrote BCF is 40. Now in the next step, if you have noticed now here, we have a triangle. We have a linear angles on a straight line. See, these are angles on a straight line. That will be our next step. So for this, we will write 65 plus 40. See, we will put this as y. We don't know the angle. Plus y equal to 180. And your y will be 180 minus 105. So your y here will be now 75. So this is 75. Now let's go to the next one which says CD parallel to FE. Let's use that property. CD parallel to FE. And we will take this as our transversal. So you get co-interior angles here. Who are the co-interior angles? This angle plus this angle will be 1. 80. Oh no, we could take corresponding angles here. Here we could take corresponding, right? We needed x. No, this and these are corresponding angles, x and 75. So I can say now Fe parallel to CD and x equal to 75 reason corresponding angles.